I mentioned on the air the other day when I mentioned a day in history when uh, the Motor City's National Heritage Area was designated by U.S. Congress in 1998 to preserve the cultural and historic landscape associated with the automobile in southeastern Michigan. I wondered aloud, well, are they still around? Where is that? What's going on? Well, we've heard from a lot of people, including Sean Palmaville, the managing director of the Motor City's National Heritage Area. Good morning, Sean. Good morning, Paul. Tell us a little bit about the uh, the National Heritage Area and how things are going. Things are going great, and we are an affiliate of the National Park Service, and that means we're a place of national significance and one that merits the, the recognition of the National Park Service. So we've been keeping very busy interpreting and educating our populace about the automotive and labor heritage area and what we do and the fun and exciting things that not only recognize the past, but inspire our future generations. And, and rather than it being a location you go to, it really, uh, the regional boundaries cover 10,000 square miles and portions of 16 counties in southeast and central Michigan, as John McCandless was the first to be in touch to let us know. And then Dave Lorenz, I think, on your board. And uh, it's it, you are very active and you are continuing to promote what is so very important in this part of the world, the, the whole automotive industry. And people can get more information at MotorCities.org. Uh, what else do you have planned? What else is going on? Well, right now we are doing a Thanks for Giving annual fundraising campaign, and we wanted to take this time of year and reflect about why we're grateful for this automotive and labor heritage. So we have a, a, a game going on. It's sort of like Hangman or Wheel of Fortune, and what we're doing is spelling out our motto, which is we put the world on wheels. And every time our donations reach $100, we fill in a letter, and we're trying to spell out we put the world on wheels as many times as we can. And we invite your listeners to be part of that and to be proud of their automotive heritage and, and think about why they are you know, here in this area and the cultural past that they may have contributed. And we believe it's, it's everyone's story. The automobile story is everyone's story, and we're proud of that, and we hope people want to protect and preserve not only the past, again, but also our, our future to inspire the future generations. Putting the world on wheels by perfecting that assembly line, the mass production, the vertical integration for vehicle manufacturing, truly becoming the Silicon Valley of the early 20th century uh, and uh, continuing through this day. But you need help, you need support, and folks can uh, be a part of that by going to MotorCities.org, MotorCities.org, or by calling 313 259 Three four two five. That's three one three two five nine thirty four twenty five. As the fundraising efforts are underway, a season of Thanksgiving, and uh, Sean Palmaville, the managing director of the Motor City's National Heritage Area. Thanks for coming on board, telling us all about it. Thank you, Paul. It's uh, it is nice to know they are alive and well since being uh, set up and as a part of the National Park Service, if you will.